Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Buddy Blackford and it is hot as hell in my room right now. No, we're going to learn more about After Effects CS6 for, from uh, the New Boston's channel. And this time I'm going to teach you about the graph editor. And in this tutorial I'm going to explain the graph editor and explain the buttons. I wanted to let you guys know that I uh, checked my computer earlier because it was going slow which you can't tell on the tutorials but I was experiencing some performance issues so I opened it up and noticed that it was super dusty and dust was caked on so I wanted to just do a quick shout out to everybody to check your computer and make sure you dust it out it'll like it'll uh, expand the lifetime it won't expand it it'll it'll keep the lifetime up higher than it would be if it was all dusty so just check it out and dust it out on a regular basis um, let's get to uh, the tutorial now so the graph editor is this button right here I added a rotation to my uh, tuna can so it does a little flip there and you can notice that it's not perfect at the end it slides so that's what we can use the graph editor to fix but the graph editor button is right here it is used to animate properties manually so you can animate rotation position among a lot of things you can edit that edit them in the graph editor as long as they're animated the hotkey for the graph editor is shift F3 so let's uh, shift F3 although it, I, I feel like it's easier to just click on it so that uh, you don't have to take your hand off the mouse I don't really don't like using uh, two-handed shortcuts some some of you if you have bigger hands than I do may be able to uh, reach that so let's uh, get on with the uh, graph editor here. To uh, zoom in and out of your graph editor you can use this uh, slider down here. There you go. Oh, goes really fast. You can also use this slider up here. They both do kind of the same thing. This slider seems like to be a little bit more uh, fine-tuning there. And you can move around from left to right with uh, with this uh, slider down here. On the graph, you um, show animated properties is going to be unselected at first, so I'll unselect that so you guys can start off in the same position I am. On the graph, x axis equals time. So going from left to right is time, and it's going by uh, frames. As you can see up here, the, the frames up and down is the y-axis and that is your values you can hover over the uh, motion path here to see which type of, of uh, property you have selected and which layer you have selected so I've got tuna selected its rotation and then the value right now is 164 point 32 degrees so if I go to this spot right here that's 164 point 32 degrees around around that around that spot you can hover over top of a keyframe to see the time that the keyframe is at and among the and the same things like uh, the rotation and the degrees and everything like that the values you can, if you zoom in uh, far enough, your your uh, line here, it will go off the screen. You can hold spacebar to drag. As you can see, while I'm uh, dragging, the the graph was automatically adjusting to the height watch if you watch these degrees right here it automatically adjusts to the height of your line so you can see now that the uh, degrees are changing there 
that was the autosave that popped up. It's going to do that from time to time. So there you go with that. And I can go over the buttons with you. So I'm going to zoom back out. And the buttons down here. This right here is the uh, choose which properties are shown in the graph editor button. That's the uh, technical name for it. So if I uncheck show selected properties, nothing will be uh, shown because we can't show anything. So we have what's selected, position. So position is going to show up now. If I show animated properties, that's going to show both of them because I have both position and rotation animated. The next uh, menu that's over is the uh, graph options and uh, the graph types. So I can get into these uh, later on. I would uh, um, always have the auto select graph type on and show graph tooltips on for now. This uh, next icon that looks like um, a set of buckyballs and not what you guys may be thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter. I mean, I'm talking about these here. These are fun to play with on your desk at work, let me tell you. What if we all sent a bunch of these to Bucky? Hmm. That would be cruel. So. I do not advocate that. The uh, next uh, button over is, that looks like a magnet here. Oh, I gotta tell you what the Buckyballs one does. So this is the uh, trans show, uh, transform box around the selected points. So I can select these right here and then click on this one. And now it makes a, a transform box and I can move it around. There you go. Hit Control Z to get back to where I was. I'm going to uncheck the uh, transform box there. And now we can get to the magnet tool. This uh, is the um, toggling the snap on and off. So if I want to move this key keyframe here by clicking it, oh, I have too many selected. Un unselect and then click on the keyframe and then I can drag it. And if I hold shift, it'll snap. 